in this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a bedroom in Blender. This first video is going to show you how to set up the room, the wooden floors, um, and how to make the bed. Okay, so to start off, um, to make our room, we want to delete everything here on our workspace. So you can select everything, click X, and delete it. Okay, then we're going to go to Add Mesh Plane. Okay, and then we want to make this a little bit bigger. So you can do that by uh, using the Scale tool, or you can come here and just increase the dimensions. I'm going to do about five meters here. And then I'm going to go into edit mode. So now what I'm going to do is extrude this so that it just has, um, so it's a little more of a platform. Be about right there. Okay, so there's different ways that we can um, make our walls. So we're just gonna make two walls here. It's gonna be open here so that we can see inside of our room. And then we'll have our two back walls here. So one way you can do this is make sure that you have your edge select selected. I'll zoom in here a little bit. And you're gonna go to extrude region and you're gonna select this edge here on the right side. And when you start it, you can see that it's going sideways. So if you um, press Z on your keyboard, it's going to start going straight, but you can see that it's still kind of moving crazy. We want it to like set in place. So I just press Z again, and now it's shooting straight up. So then you just have to decide how high you want it. Right now, mine's at three. This is at five. So maybe um, I'm going to see what it's going to be like if I do five here. It's a little too tall. I think I'm going to try three and a half. I think I'm good right there with three and a half. And then I want to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to select this edge, bring it up, press Z twice. And you can try to line those up or if you can also use this to make your dimensions the same. Okay, if we want to make this have this extra little um, thickness, um, you'll go to face select, make sure you have this, uh, the side selected, you'll use your extrude region and just bring it out a little bit. So right now I have point, uh, one six. Or negative point one six. And then I'm going to click over here on this other plane and extrude that one out. And then I'm just going to type in the same thing here. Okay. You can take a look at all that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go back into object mode. And for this assignment, um, you must either make tile floor or wooden plank floor. So I'm going to show you how to do the wooden planks. Um, so you're going to go to add mesh cube and then go ahead and scale that down. I'm going to lift it up a little bit. them skinnier. So then if you were doing tiles, they would be more square shaped rather than um, the shape. 
Okay, so then after that, you need to decide if you want them going this way or the other way. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to shorten mine a little bit. So I'm going to move mine first to this edge of the wall. So as I'm looking at it this way, it looks way too wide. So I'm going to, again, scale that down skinnier. I'm going to make sure nothing's going past my wall. It's going a little bit past it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and select, make sure your plank is selected. And we're gonna add a modifier to this. Go ahead and go to add modifier and select array. Oh, that's why. Right now they're conjoined, which is what we don't want. So first I'm gonna go ahead and just increase my count to three. I'm going to adjust whoop, this just a little bit. Want them going this way, back this way. This you might have to come in and manually adjust. That's way too big. Okay, so I'm going to change this to negative 1.0, negative 1.002. That leaves a little bit of that little gap that we've got here. If it's too much, you can, or if it's not right for you, you can always change that. Okay, so, um, I have my plank selected and I'm going to press S on my keyboard and just kind of scale this out a little more Then I would move it over because it kind of went in there. Just trying to line this up here. because I want my planks to come all the way here. So again, I'm going to hold down S, scale it just a little bit more. Okay. So you can see the three planks that I've got going on here. Okay, so now we want to select um, our planks again to duplicate them um, across the floor. I hold down Shift D. Oh, not that one. Make sure you have your plank selected. I'll hold down Shift D to duplicate that over along, what axis is this? X. Okay, and if you press X, it'll bring it along that X axis there, unless your planks are in a different direction. So kind of check that out. If there's too much gap there, might need to move it in. So just get your angle right so you can connect those. Okay. So I'm going to zoom out more. And we know that wooden planks are not like this. If you have tiles, then you're good to go because tiles are usually set straight. 
So I'm going to move this forward along the green axis right about here. Okay, and then I'm just going to, on this array here, I increase the count to four. Then I'm going to go to um, this little drop down arrow and select apply. Okay, so now we can go into edit mode. And again, we want to see this view here. Maybe it's inside. So then we'll get our move tool and we'll just move this inward. You want to make sure those are as closely lined up as you can. Okay. I think I'm good with that. And I'm gonna turn around and make sure that there's nothing sticking out here. So I'm gonna again, put on my X-ray. Complete, select these vertices. And use my move tool. And I need to move that one back too. I might just leave it. I will go back and change that one later. I'm going to go ahead and try to get it back in there. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back into object mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another array on top of this one. Gotta figure out okay which one. So we're down here on the second array. And we are going to gotta figure out which way we're moving this. Yeah, we're gonna scoot it over on this X axis so that it's on this other side. Okay, you can zoom in here, make sure if things are overlapping or not. Kind of hard to tell. Do it one more and see. No, it's too far. I think it's okay. Okay, so then we're going to come down to the count and increase that. Let me see how much further we can go. So that's fine. And we'll just extend our plane later. That way it's an even number there. Okay. So now we're going to come and select this, uh, other plank that's here in the middle. We're going to add modifier and select array. Let's go ahead and increase this number here so we can get it in the middle. It looks like it's pretty good there. So it's the same number, uh, two for the X. And then we can increase the count. Okay. So then you have your wooden planks there. And I'm not gonna worry about those sticking out. Um, if you need to extend your plane, you can go ahead and select that. I'm going to go into edit mode with this whole area selected. I'm going to select this face. Move it out a little bit. Okay. So next thing we're going to create is a bed. So now we want to go and just rename some of our layers. So this is going to be like the base of my room. So I'm going to name that room and then this is my wood or my planks one and then I'll have my planks two okay 
And this is my main plank, so I'll name that one that. So we want to go um, back into object mode and go to add mesh cube. And of course you want to resize this. So we can go ahead and start scaling this. This, this just depends on what kind of bed you're wanting. Maybe you want like a twin size bed or a full size bed. I'm not gonna make mine too huge because I want we want to have room for other things. So I think I'm gonna leave it about this. The curious on my dimensions. Here they are here. Let's go into edit mode. First push a uh, slash on your keyboard and that just makes it to where you can only see the bed for now. But if you push slash again, everything will come right back. And go ahead and right click on your bed and you want to subdivide it. And we'll increase this. Okay, so we want to see the bottom of our bed here and make sure you have your face select on. And we're just going to select the four outside faces to make the base of our, the, like the legs of our bed. So um, we're going to go to extrude and we're going to extrude those down. Okay, and that just depends if you want really tall or short bed, whatever kind of bed that you want to make. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and push my um, slash. To the one thing I wanna do is I want my bed to have a headboard. Um, this is gonna be the front of my bed, so I want it to be on this side here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my edge select. And I want to select this whole entire edge here. So you just hold shift and you should be able to get all of that. I want to extrude this up. So I push Z twice to make sure it's going straight. I'm not sure how tall I want it. I need to put my slash back in. So I think I'm okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna zoom in to the headboard. And I wanna choose these edges to select. Make sure you have your edge select on. And I'm going to bring these four edges down. Then I'm gonna select these outer two edges and bring them further down. And now I want to um, Now I'm going to use my face select and highlight over the headboard. Make sure everything is selected. I'm going to extrude these faces to make it thicker. And now I'm just gonna check it out in object mode. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and go back into edit mode. Now we're gonna need our face select and we're gonna select all these faces here on um, the top of the bed. Now 
Now we're gonna duplicate this by holding D and don't forget you can press Z to move it <clears throat> along the Z axis. And we're just gonna set it right on top, okay? And now we're gonna um, scale this in just a little bit to make it a little bit smaller than our bed frame. Okay, this is gonna be our mattress. When you're good with that, you're gonna wanna extrude it up. And now we'll select these other faces, the side faces of our mattress so that we can bevel this. Okay, so make sure you have your bevel and you're just gonna bevel out those edges and then kinda, you can scroll with your mouse to make them a little more curved there on the end. Okay, um, next thing we wanna do is separate our mattress from our bed. So if you hover over your mattress and press L, um, you should, and make sure you have your face select, it should select just your mattress. Um, then we're gonna right click and go to separate and um, choose selection. Okay, so that's separated that part. And if you come up here, you can see this one here is our mattress. I'm gonna go ahead and name, rename that. And then I'll rename this one, which is our bed frame. I'm gonna go back into object mode and select the mattress here. And I'm gonna press L, I mean the, sorry, not L, so the slash on my keyboard. And let me get a upper view here. I'm going to get my, uh, I have face select and I'm going to just highlight over this. So it just um, selects the faces of my mattress. And I'm gonna get my move tool, not my move tool, sorry. I'm just going to do shift D to create a duplicate of that. And then I wanna move it up on the Z axis. So make sure you press Z. I'm just gonna kind of lay it right over that. Then we're going to right click and do separate selection again so that we have our um, quilt or blanket or whatever you want to call that on a separate layer. Okay, and change that. Okay. Now with our uh, quilt selected, let's go back into object mode, select the quilt. We just want to resize this. So with my scale tool, I'm going to just make it a little, well, I'm going to make it shorter, but then I'm going to move it down to leave a little bit here. And actually, let me undo the slash so I can see my whole bed. So I want it a little bit larger than my bed since it's going to, it's going to fold over. So let's see. And then I'm just gonna leave a little bit of room here. And that's up to you if you wanna do that or not. I think that might be okay. Move it up a little bit more. Okay, so I've got all that. Now I'm going to go ahead and select. So I'm going to go to my mattress, hold shift, select my bed frame and my quilt. That's not my quilt. Why is it selected my floor? Okay, control. So I have my quilt. I'm going to hold down control and select my mattress and my bed frame. So I should have all three of those selected and then I'm going to move those back to the wall. Okay, and then I can see that my 
um, base is going into my floor. So I'm just going to move that up. And then I want to check the back. So right now I can see the back of my bed is going into my wall. So I'm going to scoot it up a little bit more. Okay, that's better. Okay, so select your mattress and you want to add a modifier and go to modifiers going to be right here Add a um, subdivision surface and then right click and shade smooth. We're going to go to our physics properties and select collision. Okay, then we're going to select our quilt, go to the um, modifier, add modifier and do a subdivision surface there. Then we're going to go into the physics properties and select cloth. And if we press the space bar, we'll see that um, cloth ah, slowly starting to go over the bed. So you can just kind of see how you might want that. Um, if you wanted, you can try to, if you need to make it any longer in areas. Whoa, not that much. Let's go back to the beginning. Go back to my zero, make it a little longer. Let's see. Maybe a little too much. Uh, I think it needs to be longer here. That's catching on that. So I'm going to take it back to zero. Let me extend this out a little bit more. So I'm going to see if I select my bed and put collision on there. Not there, though. Go back to there. Okay, so adding a collision to the bed frame allowed my quilt to fall over the bed frame. So that's up to you how you would want that. So right now I'm liking mine at 11, but I'm going to go back to my um, frame zero and I'm going to shade that smooth and see if that improves the texture. Okay, so that's up my 10. I'm liking that. Okay, so I'm going to move this um, subdivision surface, maybe. Ah. I'm going to move this cloth up above the subdivision surface. Okay, and that smoothed it out a lot more. Um, if you want, you can also experiment with the solidify and move that. Okay, make sure that's below your cloth and you can increase the thickness if you want it to appear any thicker. I think I'm fine with mine without it, so I'm just going to leave it that way. Okay, so another thing that you could do, and this is just your preferences, you could also add a subdivision surface on your bed frame. And I'll just kind of show you what mine looks like with it on. So I'm going to um, subdivision surface, and then I would shade it smooth. And I'm not sure what happened there, but I noticed it was a little bit different. So I'm definitely not going to leave mine like that because that looks weird. But maybe you like yours like that, so that's something that you could do also. Okay, so now that we're done with the bed, we're going to add some pillows. Again, make sure you're in object mode. <clears throat> we're going to go to add mesh cube. And let's go ahead and scale this. Much smaller. Okay, so we can go ahead and add in our modifiers, our subdivision surface. And I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. We can come and take it into edit mode and add some loop cups so we can transform this. So select your loop cut tool. 
I'm going ahead and press slash to hide um, the other options, the other materials there. Okay, so I just created a loop of going across and then down. And you could come in and scale any of these other areas. Let's see, go back, select these two, and it's just kind of how you think you might want your pillow to look, okay? Then you can always go and look at it back in object mode and shade it smooth, then increase this to two and that kind of rounds it out a lot more. Um, if you want them thicker, you can scale it along that Z axis. So just kind of get that the way you want it. And then you can kind of um, go and adjust them on your bed. And you can see if it's either too small or too big. So I'm gonna go ahead and move mine over. Okay, I think maybe might be an okay size. So then you can duplicate this. Um, you can do Shift D and you wanna move it along the, is it the Y axis? No, X, yes, X axis. So now I'm seeing maybe they're a little too small. So I'm gonna select both of these. Whoa. And I'm gonna move these over. Did I say too small? I'm gonna say too big. Uh, maybe not so much. Yeah, it looks like they're floating. So I'm gonna move, I wanna highlight both of them so I can move them together. Okay, maybe about right there. And move these back. And I'm gonna check this side. Looks pretty good, I think. Let me bring this one in just a little bit. Okay, and you're free to move those. You, if you want them propped up, maybe you could do a little rotation. Like that, maybe. I have to move those up a little bit. Okay, if you wanted, you can add um, any other extra pillows. So I'm just going to make another one here. And then I'll adjust it. Okay, so I think I'm good with that for the pillows.